Hi guys, welcome back to the next chapter in Factory Town. It's just a new episode, but let's get into it. Uh, last episode, we pretty much got through the technology tree, most of the uh, gold coin technology. We got through it. Uh, we got some logistics. Um, we got some logistics going on right now. Basically, just we unlocked. We got some. What is it called? Uh, intermediate logistics going on, which is going to help us do some more fancy things. But for right now, we were able to make conveyor belts as of last episode. We're gathering some resources. You can see this is full. I'm not going to break the rules of, the, of, of my playthrough, but you're going to see some loopholes with this playthrough. Uh, one, let's go with one of this because I don't have a whole lot planned for this episode, let's be honest. Anyways, so one of the rules, so the rules of this thing is no terraforming, uh, no deleting resources, pretty much the challenge. The deleting of resources, there is going to be one rule to it, and it's going to be stones that are in water. You can't farm them, you can't get them, it's impossible. So those I'm going to be able to delete because I am going to want to use boats as a way of transporting merchandise, especially as we get later into the game. The other thing is if I come into any problems where a boat can't go through a waterway because for some reason it's too shallow, I can deepen the water to allow a boat through. I will not expand the waterway. It will remain as is. I'll just deepen it where the water already is. To prevent a boat it shouldn't come up but it has come up in previous playthroughs of this game for me so if it does then um that's the only exception i'm going to make to the rule now let's talk about the loopholes in this challenge so what we're going to do is you guys are done they're done they filled that barn we're going to move them to the side here all right so what we're going to do is you guys are about done here oh one of the other things that changed off camera the only thing i did change is i seen there's only one carrot left so i switched two of the workers from carrot to just farming tomatoes over so this one guy will finish up the carrot it just prevents from three people going idle and me not paying attention to it and versus just one going idle and then me catching it off camera and fixing it but with that said we're going to move this grain mill i'm fully expecting uh let's move it right here i'm fully expecting these guys once they're done here Hit the right key. Once they're done farming this grain, they're going to move over to this patch. The other thing we can do is this barn that's now full. If we hit the move key, you can actually move the barn. Boom. And it's full. Don't ask me how that's <laughs> how that makes any sense or is even logical, but I'm not going to argue because if we delete the barn and you lose all the resources inside of it. Um, yeah. It's a loophole. It's not against the rules. Uh, maybe they'll fix that. Maybe they won't. I'm not looking to make this challenge any harder than what it has to be or delay any more time than what's probably already going to be delayed naturally. So that's the major reason why I'm not. I'm basically showing you guys I'm allowing it. If you want to play with harder rules yourself, you can where you have to actually, you know, move that across the map. But right now, there is literally no way to get a resource across the map with this big, I mean, there's actually maybe a little bit of pathway right through there. But I mean, it's just a, everything's just blocked off right now. And that's what we're trying to farm. The thing that sucks the most is that herbs is also another resource that's blocking my way. Um, and that's the later resource. It's not a one that's available right now. The next thing I want to get into is we got to increase our gold intake so we can buy more, exp expand our land, stuff like that. So we need to make more of these items. A majority of these items to make the really good coins, you need a kitchen. So if you go to the buildings right now, the kitchen is locked. But it says we can get it if our base level is 4. And guess what the next step of our base is? That's right, level 4. Unlock that kitchen, baby. And we can now research uh, metal, whatever. I don't want to butcher that word, which I probably will do on camera. So, And just to save face, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Alright, uh, technology is still rocking. It's starting to slow down now. You can start seeing that the little... One tick of paper is not doing as much as it used to do. I got 31 of these suckers. It should go up to 200 before it stops or we run out of resources one or the other. Uh, we mostly would run out of logs first, but we've quite, it's quite some time before that would happen. And we now we got an unlimited amount of grain going on here. Uh, did, I wanted to fire one of you guys. Delete. All right. Ooh, carrot's done. Where's the guy that's supposed to do carrots? I caught you on camera. That's a rare thing, but I'll take it. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do. So we're doing some fancy stuff here. We do have the kitchen. We can do some more fancy. We can do different kind of fancy stuff. But for right now, I kind of just want to do some cool stuff that I just screwed up. Move that barn. Move that barn. Uh, go back to. Uh, right now, I don't have logistics blocks, so I can't do what I 
normally would do here. So we got to make something a little fancier. So let's go scaffold here. We're gonna let this stuff ramp. Uh, we probably should have done the other one first. Right, let's do this, then this. Can't tell if that's on there or not. Wrong way. All right, and then if we take this right here. All right, now these guys are delivering tomatoes. You're gonna pick them and put them in the barn. And that way if this gets full, they'll still keep picking the tomatoes. Uh, that's a lot of tomatoes. Tomatoes is like the hardest, it's like, the, it usually is the one where I don't have a way of getting rid of it, to be honest. Uh, um, I usually go, actually let's put a kitchen down. Cause we're probably gonna do something with the kitchen pretty soon. Buildings. Kitchen. Alright. So, I'm just going to plop it down here. So, with the kitchen, a lot of times, actually, we should probably should do the food market first. Um, if you go to the meats, most, time, most times here, I use the meat stew for here. Um, the sandwich has nothing to do. Veggie stew. Yeah, so veggie stew and meat stew are the two I usually use. And neither one of them. So, I look at meat stew, no tomatoes, and veggie stew. Up one. Mm. Oh, I don't make veggie stew. Oh, that's because I did. That's because I usually do jam. Ah, eh, well, if I do veggie stew, I'm good. But then jam, I'm then I'm stuck with how to get rid of fruits. <laughs> so either way, like, like there's just there's just no happy medium um, way of getting rid of it. tomatoes. Is usually the one that gets left out in the cold with no way of getting rid of it. So we'll see how this playthrough goes. I have some creative solutions to do for this time, but we'll see. All right, so the first thing is first, we want to increase our gold intake. So what can we do? Now, we could increase, i just go, yeah, I could do the grain. I could easily make bread. Bread does not take much, uh, but I don't want to go, I don't think I want to go there. I think we just want to let the flour do its thing. Our happiness, max happiness is three currently, so it's not like we need to go any further than that. I do not want to get into farms or pastures until we have logistics blocks. So until then, I'm going to ignore anything that needs a farm, which is everything on this list. All right. The next thing is here, and then we got some easy stuff like fruit juice. But the problem with fruit juice is that I need berries, pears, or apples somewhere close by. And I don't think either, none of that stuff is close by. Actually, we do got some pears back here. You know what? How much? How big is these resources? Oh, they're huge. All right, we're actually going to do that. So let's move this kitchen. I said, we're, I said it was, probably wasn't going to work, but it's going to work. Or we're going to make it work. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to move this. And then we're gonna move the kitchen beside it. And we are going to make nut jam. Bird juice. It's pretty easy to make. It's not that difficult. Let's get some workers down. I don't know if two's enough. Should I go? Let's see how many this does. Because we need two every three seconds. And I don't know if you guys can get there fast enough. Uh, no, you're just slow. Um, you know what? If you're just slow, that is fine. I can live with that. And we just need a worker that delivers their fruit juice to the market. And you deliver to the wrong building. No. All right, there we go. That's going to help our gold coin situation. And what else can we do with our... Let's go to the market here. So the cheese, we need pastures for everything along that line and gourmet besides sugar is a absolute nightmare to put together let me tell you what it's the most probably the most complex thing in this entire game especially if you want to make an apple pie or a berry cake Whew. it is complicated <laughs> all right anyways so that's that we got our golds going up this oh they could say this intermediate logistics has to be done here soon all right so the most important things we got here they probably gonna see me use. I'm not like super into like all the different setups you can possibly do. I try to keep it as simple as possible because I my head starts to hurt if I get too complicated. But we need the grabber. We need the splitter. They're like one and two. We absolutely have to have everything else outside of that. Um, have fun. That's all I gotta say. Um, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and sign a new recipe. Uh, we are not. We don't even have anything blue yet. Do we unlock? We had to unlock it if it's asking for it. Do we have the building? No, we don't even have the building yet. So we need the apothecary. How do we get the apothecary? Oh, base level five. Can we even upgrade you? We need metal, don't we? Yeah, that's what I thought. 
So once you get metal unlocked, we start working towards base level five. Anyways, what else is going on here? Sugar. Oh yes. So let me get these two workers. Put you guys up here. Move this. Not the camera. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have a guy run it in. And so you're gonna have for some more yellow coins. And let's get you guys a new barn. All right, keep collecting. How's this barn doing? Oh, see, it's empty. Now a lot of this stuff here, I'm gonna do off camera. I'm not gonna bore you guys with this, but I'm just gonna be like easy. I'm gonna hit the move key. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I have to find a flat place to put it down because the, the move tool don't work the same as putting a new building down. The move these guys out of the way. Sometimes that causes issues. But that went through that that grain real fast. At least it feels like it was really fast. But yeah, this is kind of an example of what it's like that I'm going to do off camera. Like I said, I absolutely have no plans of, and it hit something. <laughs> I have absolutely no plans of like cheating at this thing or anything like that. Mainly if I run things off, it's just to help get rid of some resources and set up to what I'm going to do next. All right. And where are we at? Yes. I don't want to get too complicated, but here, I'm going to show you to kind of, before we end this episode, because the next episode we really want to get into um, basically the, the pastures and stuff like that. It's probably our next step, but I don't want to do that until, um, until I have more time, put it that way. So anyways, we're going to delete this worker here. We're going to put, we're going to put this down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to logistic blocks. We're going to get a grabber. I'm going to make sure the grabber is not pulling anything currently because if, if it's attached to this building to go this way, it will pull stuff out of there. But before it does that, I want to have an item filter only for cloth bear belts. So this will only, so this will basically, in case you don't guys don't know, you can only pull stuff out if you put a, like the conveyor belt on the arrow that's pointing out of the building. Other than that, the rest of the sides of the building are all intakes. But with a grabber, you can pull from anywhere on the building, I think up to four tiles high, I believe also. And with the and with the grabber itself, you can filter for specific items. So in this case, like I said, if I didn't filter, it could possibly pull the wagon wheel, the wooden wagon wheel, out of the workshop too, which I don't want. I just want the conveyor belts. Yeah, they're running a little slow. Uh, this is just slow. Alrighty. And that is that. That is it. That's all I want to show this episode, guys. Like I said it might be another quick one. I don't know. I gotta check my times on this stuff. You guys let me know if it's too quick for you or if you like longer episodes. I'll, I'll try to get a little miniature clock to put up here by my monitor so I can keep an eye on time a little bit better than what I currently am. But for now, that is it, guys. That's where I'm going to end things. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to do the most important thing you're going to do today. Subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.